So when you have an auto scaling group and it launches an EC2 instance, how does it know what configuration to use to launch that new EC2 instance? And that is what a launch configuration is. So when you have an auto scaling group, you actually set what a launch configuration you want to use. And a launch configuration looks a lot like when you launch a new EC2 instance. So you go through and you'd set all of these options, but instead of launching an instance at the end, it's actually just saving the configuration. Hence, it's called a launch configuration. Uh, a couple of limitations around launch configurations that you need to know is that a launch configuration cannot be edited once it's been created. So if you need to update or replace that launch configuration, you need to either make a new one or they have this convenient button to clone the existing configuration and make some tweaks to it. Uh, there is something also known as a launch template and they are launch configurations just but with versioning. And so it's AWS's new version of launch configuration. Um, and you know, generally when there's something new, I might recommend that you to use it, but it seems so far that m like most of the community still uses launch configuration. So the benefit of versioning isn't a huge, um, doesn't have a lot of value there. So, um, you know, I don't, I'm not pushing you to use launch templates, but I just want you to know um, the difference because it is a bit confusing because you look at it and it looks like pretty much the same thing and it just has versioning.